Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now, uh, in today's video, I wanna talk about what your business looks like in 12 months from now. So about a year ago, I had a podcast that went out and I talked about like Thanksgiving dinner, uh, how you'll always bump into some uncle or some family member who's asking you about how your business is going. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can probably search, like touch type in Thanksgiving and that audio will pop up. And this is the time of the year though, that it business owners always reflect because it's, it's hard to do that during the middle of the year. But when you get to like Thanksgiving slash Christmas, this is when a lot of people, we sit back and we think, all right, how did this year go? And what do we want different about next year? And what I wanna show you here, it's something that really helps me with my business. This has helped a lot of coaches that I work with. And I think if you watch this video all the way through and you implement, I think the next 12 months are gonna be more successful for you and your business, right? And before I get there, like you can see in the middle of the screen, if you have any questions, you wanna reach out to me, send me a text, 210-960-5771. And like always, there's 25% coupon code for every online program that I have. If you go to buildmysportsbiz.com, go down to where it says uh, courses. You can choose from our two courses there. Um, on the checkout page, there's a coupon code for each one. And use those and go grab a program. Now, let's dig into this. So what does your business look like in 12 months from now? There's three different categories here that I wanna talk about, and I will try to go into depth on each one. And again, if you need more help, shoot me a text, and I am happy to chat with you. So the first one is one crystal clear goal, right? Now, the reason why I say one crystal clear goal, it's because a lot of times when coaches come to me and they ask business questions, they're like, well, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. It's too scattered too much going on too much noise you can't chase two bunny rabbits at once <laughs> not going to catch one so we need to have one specific clear goal now that could be a financial goal that could be here's how many clients that i want to have over the next year whatever it is it's one goal right don't need to have 10 goals 10 goals will never be achieved right you need to have one crystal clear goal. And the beauty of it is no one can set that for you other than you. I don't even like setting goals with, with clients that I work with because I who am I to tell them what what their limit is, right? That's not, that's not my job. I set my own goals. Uh, no one's setting those goals for me other than me. Uh, and no one can hold me accountable to those goals either other than me. And it's the same with you. Your goals are up to you, all right? And, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the internet like that I, I think is very wrong about goal setting, all right? And I'm not gonna talk about that now, but you need to list out what is your goal. That needs to be written out and you need to see that every single morning when you wake up. So for me personally, on my whiteboard, it has my goal. I have seen that goal every single morning, Monday through Friday, that I've come into this room, right? It doesn't go away. I don't erase it. I don't change it. It is there. It is staring at me daily. All right? I can't avoid it. So if I'm having a harder day, I can look at that and be like, yep, that's my goal. I'm inching a little bit closer to my goal. That's, that keeps me disciplined. Right? If I don't know what that goal is, what the heck am I working on? Like I'm just going to be distracted all the time. So crystal clear goal. That is pretty clear. Pretty clear there. Next is daily actions. So we need, to, we need you to list out what are your daily actions that are required to achieve that goal. Now, this is where a lot of coaches, um, I would say this is where they get messed up. They don't know what to do to achieve their goal, but even worse, they don't know what their goal is. So I don't care what your goal is. Your goal could be make a million dollars next year or make a thousand dollars next year, it doesn't matter. If you don't take actions to get close to that goal, you don't achieve that goal or you don't even get anywhere close to that goal. So what are you doing during the day? What are you doing to draw in more leads? What are you trying to learn? Are you investing in trying to get help? Uh, what, like, what are you doing? What is the actions that you're taking? 
and write those out. That should be something you do every day, all right? So for me, for example, one of the actions that I've done every single day for a very long time, and I've never talked about this publicly on my channel, it's like I always spend at minimum 30 minutes per day writing, right? I'll write probably five newsletters every 30, like every, within 30 minutes. And some of those don't get published. I just do it to practice because I want to perfect that skill, right? And there's a reason why my emails convert probably higher than a lot of other people. It's because I spend more time doing it, right? That's one of my, my daily actions because every year I grow my email list, right? So if I'm going to not choose to not spend time on that, I'm not going to get better, right? 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Most people are not willing to do that. I am because I want to get better, right? So what are your daily actions? That For me, that's just one of mine, right? Now the next, this might get this video demonetized, even though YouTube only pays me like probably $6 a month now, <laughs> which is enough for my, my uh, bowl at Chipotle, uh, which is why I kind of, I put the, the letters here, but it's gun to the head deadlines, G-T-T-H, deadlines. Now, if you don't have a sense of urgency, it is impossible to achieve any goal, right? It's impossible. So if you don't have clear-cut deadlines, no one's going to hold, hold you responsible. It's your business, right? And no one should hold you responsible other than you, right? Even if you invested into my mentoring program, I ultimately, I try to hold you responsible, but I'm not waking you up when I wake up, right? I'm not telling you what to eat during the day. I'm not telling you, uh, how, like, how much you can charge in your business, right? Those deadlines are up to you. So gun to the head deadlines. In that scenario, that means, all right, by this date, this is going to happen and it's a non-negotiable thing. And if it's non-negotiable, I take more action. If it's like, yeah, I'm gonna get to this whenever, there's zero deadline. And the thing is, when you slip once with that sort of mindset, you don't get anything done. And this is why a lot of business owners struggle every year to grow what they do. It's because every, every couple months they get distracted. They'll try to start some new project or new idea and there's no deadline with anything. So nothing gets accomplished. I'm here to tell you like you need to have gun to the head deadlines. And I'm not saying take out a gun uh, on January 1st, <laughs> right? I am saying you need to be responsible enough to hit your deadlines. No one's going to do it for you. No one's going to do the work for you. No one's going to make you do it other than you, right? For example, like no one makes me do these YouTube videos. I choose to do it. I have deadlines though. If I don't hit my deadlines, that's on me. That is a thousand percent my fault. I hit my deadlines though. I've been hitting my deadlines for the last five, six years, right? Got to be consistent, right? Now, when you do these things, you break into these three categories, First, we have a crystal clear goal. That should like be in one crystal clear sentence. Next, we have your daily actions. What are you doing? What do you need to do to hit that goal? Third, gun to the head deadlines. Like by this point in the year, like how many clients do I have? Or what's the revenue look like? All right, or how many sales calls have I done? Like what is that thing? And you should be able to achieve that if you have gun to the head deadlines. Right, so I know the last couple months of content that I've posted here, it's it's like this. I have a uh, I'm doing a uh, a video and I'm screen recording. I'm showing the spreadsheet. If you've missed the last two three months of videos that I've posted, go check those out. I think those will help you with marketing, pricing, uh, writing emails. Like if those are skills that you haven't learned yet, go learn those on my videos. All right, I'll, I teach you there for free, all right? And if you need more one-on-one -on -one help, send me a text. You can see my number, it's in the middle of the screen, 210-960-5771. If you want one of our digital programs, go check out buildmysportsbiz.com. That will absolutely help you. Um, that has been up and running for the last several years. We've helped a lot of coaches every single day. And uh, I think you'd be our next success story if you're an action taker that is crystal clear on what they want. That's it. Catch you later.